Hello, in this video I'm going to derive the Slutsky equation. So what is this uh, Slutsky equation? It shows a small change in the price of a good along an ordinary demand curve can be decomposed into a substitution effect and an income effect. So the total effect of a price change equals the substitution effect here, and we're going to see minus the income effect. So at the initial utility maximization point, where utility is a given level, say U bar, the following condition holds. The compensated demand for good X will equal the ordinary demand for good X. X superscript C is representing the compensated demand for good X. It is a function of the price of good X, the price of good Y, and uh, a given level of utility, U bar. And again, at this utility maximization point, this initial utility maximization point, the compensated demand for good X will equal just the ordinary demand for good X. And the ordinary demand for good X is a function of the prices and income. And so again, my abbreviations here, M is income, price of good X, and price of good Y. So just rewriting that condition and recognizing that income M equals the minimum expenditure E to achieve a given level of utility, U bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the expenditure function. The expenditure function is a function of the prices of good X and good Y and a given level of utility, and I'm going to plug that into the ordinary demand uh, function here where I see M, I'm going to plug in the expenditure function. So making that substitution for M, plugging in the expenditure function, we now have this result. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the partial derivative of the right-hand side and the left-hand side with respect to the price of good X. So the partial derivative of the compensated demand function with respect to price of good X. And then over here on the right-hand side, uh, we're going to take the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function X with respect to the price of a good X. And then we're going to have to use the chain rule uh, because X is a function of expenditures, and expenditures is a function of uh, the price of good X. So we take the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function with respect to expenditures, and then that's going to be multiplied by the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of good X. Rewriting that result. And now I'm just going to solve this equation for the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function with respect to the price of good X. So just moving some things around here, we get this result. The left-hand side is going to reflect the total effect of the price change. How does the change in the price of good X affect uh, the demand for the good? So note the derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of good X will simply equal X. So this last part of this equation here, we're going to just set that equal to X. And the reason for that, we can talk about the envelope theorem here. Uh, the derivative of the objective function, in this case the expenditure function with respect to one of the shift parameters, is simply the partial derivative. So if we were to set up a Lagrangian where we're trying to minimize expenditures, that's our objective function here, the expenditure function, uh, <clears throat> subject to a given level of utility. Notice here that the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of a good X, just the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to the price of a good X, and that's just X. So Again, arguing here that uh, this partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of good X is just X. I'm going to make that substitution. Okay, so where I have this, I'm just going to plug in X. I just moved the X in front here. And then one other note, uh, changes in income, M, and expenditures are the same thing for the ordinary demand function. Okay. 
So all I'm going to do here uh, is change that E to an M for income. And that is the derivation of the Slutsky equation. The total effect on the left-hand side equals the substitution effect minus this last part is the income effect. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.